Hello everyone, in this video, let us take a look at uh, Org Babel Tangle. So, I was uh, talking about uh, literate programming uh, in uh, one of my uh, videos that I made, I believe, uh, a week ago. And uh, Literate programming is definitely really interesting because when you are trying to write, uh, let us say, a technical document, you want to insert some code snippets. And when you insert those code snippets, you may also want to uh, execute them so that it makes uh, much more easier for you to maintain the code and also make sure the output is still valid. So I have been writing or I started writing uh, a book uh, on Groovy and I am also making a, a video series on Groovy on my other channel youtube.com slash Ravi Sagar 1 and I am actually using literate programming in um, my book so when I show you my uh, my document my uh, book that I'm writing right now so I'm talking about uh, assertions in uh, Groovy so if you look at this section here, I am basically using some uh, uh, code snippets. So if you look at this particular document, uh, this particular file here, it is of course uh, my org file. I have this code block, which is nothing but um, uh, one method that I'm declaring. Uh, don't really worry about the uh, code because right now I'm focused on, uh, on the tangle part of uh, org babble especially the literate programming part. So I have this piece of uh, code here, which is uh, uh, inside my begin SRC and uh, end SRC, then we followed by result. Then I, I have one more piece of code, which is nothing but assert one double equal to two. And uh, I have third piece of code. So basically in my file, I have uh, multiple uh, code snippets. Now, of course I can um, execute them. I can display their their result but once I am done with my uh, document apart from the code that I have uh, within my uh, within my uh, document I may also want to export them separately in uh, maybe separate groovy files or maybe a single groovy file so there is uh, something called as uh, org Babel Tangle and using this uh, uh, command you can simply export all the code snippets into either a single file or maybe individual files. So all you need to do if you have to uh, maybe let us do the same thing you can insert or you can use this uh, part here called I mean in the header part you can say Tangle yes. So right now wherever the code snippet has this uh, Tangle yes value that particular code will be inserted or rather it will be copied and exported in a file. So if I run this uh, command, if I do uh, meta x followed by or bevel tangle, if I run this, it will create a file uh, that will contain uh, all the code. So if I show you the uh, file here, the file is uh, mastering groovy dot uh, groovy. So this is actually the code that will get uh, generated for you. So this is actually really good because I have this code which I can of course uh, send it to someone or maybe I can read it or maybe I can compile it. I can do a lot of wonderful things with uh, this code and the, the good thing about this is that it is nothing but pure code. But what if you want to generate individual files? So doing that is also very easy. All you need to do, you need to use uh, this uh, tangle and then uh, you have to write your file name. So let us say uh, if you want to uh, generate a, a file called code1.groovy or maybe for the second part, for the second code snippet, you may want to generate uh, a file called code2.groovy and maybe of course the third one will be code3. So you can uh, type in your file name and uh, once you do the same thing again, once you do this once you execute this command or double tangle and uh, you look at your directory structure let me just refresh it 
So you can see here that we have code one, code two, and code three. So let us take a look. So this is our code one, which is nothing but simple assertion. And if I take a look at my code, sorry, I, I think I opened code one, code two before. So this is code one, the other one, the earlier one was code two. And uh, this is my code three. So this is really amazing. And uh, I thought I'll probably share this, uh, this method of, of uh, exporting your code snippets out of your org file and uh, personally I am becoming a fan of illiterate programming I made one video about illiterate programming uh, I'll of course give you the link um, in this video so you can also take a look at it and uh, if you are watching this video let me just tell you something I am making a lot of videos on Emacs, or mode, uh, illiterate programming so if you think this is something of your interest, you can definitely subscribe to my channel and uh, you can also give me feedback about uh, uh, whether my videos are useful or not. Of course, I make videos on other topics, but just to share with you, if you want to learn a clashing tools, if you want to learn Groovy, for example, you can go to my other channel, which is totally focused on a clashing tools and uh, a Groovy language. So I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.